Hi everyone, my name is JB, I'm a Capto coach and in this video I'll show you the difference between the Capto Easy and the Capto Gen 3. To put it simply, Capto Easy more for players, Capto Gen 3 more for coaches. This is a very simplified way of putting it because some players might prefer to deep dive into their strokes with the Capto Gen 3 and some coaches might prefer the simplicity of the Capto Easy. So this video will help you to decide which Capto works best for you. Difference number one, Capto Easy portrait mode, Capto Gen 3 landscape mode. Difference number two, I put both the sensors on my putter here. You can see that on the whole, the sensors are pretty much the same. They both have a screen on the sensor that will allow you to do standalone work and to see data on the screen itself. But the Capto Gen 3 allows for three data numbers on the screen and the Capto Easy only allows for two data numbers on the screen. Another difference between the two is the amount of data. The Capto Easy has far less data than the Capto Gen 3. If we take a look at the Capto Easy screen, we can see that there is a total of 10 parameters. Eight of those are highlighted in green. That means that I've selected those and that is also the maximum number of data that you can display at the same time. So it's limited to eight numbers. You can, of course, also select one or two numbers. That's also the case that I will show you later with the Capto Gen 3. So you can customize it the way you want, uh, but there's a maximum of eight numbers to be, to be displayed and there is a maximum of 10 data parameters to choose from. Another very important difference between the Capto Easy and the Capto Gen 3 is that the Capto Easy only gives you change numbers. That means for the face, shaft and lie, it gives you the difference between setup and impact. So it does not give you actual setup or impact numbers, just the difference between the two. So if we look at the ball in that little video, and for example, if I set up with a lot of shaft lean, and then during the stroke, I come back to that same position of shaft lean, that means that Capto Easy will give a zero number because there's no difference between setup and impact. Whereas the Capto Gen 3 will give you the actual setup number, probably minus five degrees D-loft. It will give you the impact number, also five degrees D-loft, and then the change between the two was zero. So that gives you that extra edge of exactly knowing where the shaft is when you're working with the Gen 3. And the same is true for the lie angle. So if a player has the lie angle set up, the cap to easy will only give you the change number and also the same with the face. It's important to mention that both the cap to easy and the cap to gen three have a target mode where you can calibrate the face aim. So you will get numbers that will tell you where's the face pointing relative to your calibrated target line. It gives you the face at impact relative to that calibrated target line and it gives you the change between that setup and impact as well. So this is not a difference, but it's a similarity that you can work both with the Capto Easy and both the Gen 3, you can work with the target line. As I mentioned before, the Capto Gen 3 has a lot more data numbers. So when we look at the main page, the start page, you can see right away that the amount of data is a lot larger. There's a lot more data in the Capto Gen 3 that we have in the Capto Easy. Another big difference is that we not only have those data numbers, but behind each tile as a tab, for example, the face tab, then you get real, real time numbers and you see the actual motion of the face and not necessarily just the impact number. So this is the reason why I told you at the beginning that if you want to deep dive into your putting stroke, 
the Capto Gen 3 is the better choice. So this option of tapping a tile creates an, a whole world of extra data behind that specific tile and that is true for all the tiles that you see here. Another feature that I wanted to show you that differs between the Capto Gen 2 and the Capto Gen 3 is that the Capto Gen 3 has a green mode. And in the green mode, you actually see the live numbers of the shaft and the live position. So as I hold my shaft and I take my setup position, we can see that if I start to de-loft, we can see that that shaft is moving to minus five. Somewhere around here, I would be close to zero. The camera might distort a little bit if it's not right in front of the, of the shaft. And then when I lean the shaft backward, that is at lofted. So you can literally see that shaft number moving down if I de-loft and up when I add loft. And it goes the same with, it works the same with the lie. If I go more up, that is a plus number. And if I go more down with the shaft, you see the lie going down to minus 10 even. Whereas if I move it slowly backwards, now I'm at plus 5.9 plus six. So this is a feature that will really help you to create the proper setup with your players. Okay, that is the comparison between the Capto Gen 3 and the Capto Easy. Of course, in this video, I could not go over all the differences. There are a lot more differences, but at least you will have some sort of an idea what the Capto Easy does and what the Capto Gen 3 does. Like I said in the beginning of the video, normally I would say if you're a coach, go for the Gen 3. You will have to educate yourself in understanding the numbers and the physics of, of putting, which is probably a good thing. And if you're a player, you're probably best off with the Capto Easy because it's basically touch and go. You just put it on, you start putting, you get the numbers right away and the numbers are relatively easy to understand. Now, of course, this was a very simplified way of putting it. So if you're a player who enjoys that deep dive into your putting stroke, Capto Gen 3 might work best for you. And if you're a coach who, want, who likes to keep things a bit simpler, then the Capto Easy might be the right choice for you. Either way, I hope this video helped and I wish you all the best.